Hey folks, uh, I'm Jeff, Jeff Cohen, uh, also known as JC Rocket or J Crockett as it's come to be known as on the forums. Um, here it's about a month uh, removed from IGC and I'm finally getting around to doing my video review. Better late than never I guess, huh? Um, by day I am a partner in a company that uh, distributes photographic lighting products. Uh, the company's name is Westcott. And by night, I like to mess around with all these things here. Uh, been playing guitar since I was a teenager, but never really got serious with it until like maybe the last eight or nine years. Um, but really enjoying it now, and uh, TG has been a big part of it, as I know it has for so many of you. Um, and the IGC was just an incredible experience, um, as I pretty much knew it would be. It was great meeting all the other TG folks that I've corresponded with and just interacted with on the forums for years, some of them. Um, kind of surreal experience, like meeting old friends for the first time, um, but it was, it was really cool. Um, uh, the workshops, as others have reported, were just unbelievable. I mean, the, the level of talent and just different you know, diversity that was uh, presented to us was really, really amazing. Um, and there was something to be taken from every one of the sessions, uh, regardless of what your particular style or tastes were. Um, and I, it was, it was just so much to absorb, and I, I'm still kind of processing a lot of it right now. Um, along with that, to me, one of the big highlights of the IGC was the open mic night. I gotta give compliments to Vanessa for putting it together, running the show, um, using general persuasion to get people to participate. Um, and it was really neat to see there was a lot of people that participated that had never played in front of any kind of group before. And to be part of that, to see so many people hit that big milestone and what I know is just a, a, an important night in everybody's life that, that wants to play music, uh, regardless of what their ambitions are or level of play or how long they've been playing. Um, it was really just really cool to be part of it and it was kind of the, to me it was the kind of the culmination of the whole, um, the whole several days that we were there. Um, as far as my guitars, um, do a little dog and pony show here. Um, First of all, uh, my electrics. This is my telly that I've had for about a year now. Um, love the telly. I've always liked tellies, um, telecasters. Even though they're just basically a block of wood with some electronics on them, I don't know. I've, they've, I've always liked them, and I was really happy when I finally got one. This is my Gibson Marauder Electric. Um, had this since the 70s. I mean, that was when they stopped making them. It wasn't a very successful product for Gibson. Uh, trying to hit a lower segment of the market, which was what I could afford at the time. Um, but for many years, this was my only guitar. There were as many years where it just sat in the closet. But but stuck with me through thick and thin, mostly thin, the guitar that is. Uh, as far as my acoustics, uh, this is my Martin Triple OC 16 GTE. It's got the uh, Fishman Aura electronics to it. Really nice, playable guitar, uh, a little bit of a thin neck. Uh, a lot of the videos I've done over the years on the forums that I posted um, have been with this guitar. Then I have my hot rod steel resonator, weighs a ton, and I really need to do more practicing with the slide and really spend a little more time with this one because it's a lot of fun but I'm just not very proficient with it you know 
But it's a lot of fun to mess around with, and someday I'll spend a little more time with it. But my, uh, well, let's see, also there's my folding guitar, which is what I brought to IGC. There was, I believe, three, three of these there all together. Bob and Tom, I believe, are the others that had them. But I was no way I was going to take one of these to on an airplane. So well, it kind of stays in tune, even though it's folded up. And then there's my go-to guitar, which is my Taylor 514C. I've had for about a year and a half now. If I do any playing out, this is what I use. I just love the sound of this thing. And uh, Larry, when he asked us to do these videos, asked us to play out with a song. And um, I thought what I'd do is uh, a song by Dave Nachmanoff, which this was another highlight of the, of the weekend at IGC was the concert we got to see with Neil opened up, uh, Dave Nachmanoff, who is Al Stewart's side man and accompanist, uh, did the second set, and then Al Stewart did the third set with Neil up there with him for a few songs. Um, but Dave Nachmanoff blew me away. He's really a really good guitar player. Um, has uh, some, some pretty good songs of his own that he that he played for us. Um, and there's one that I really like that I'm gonna do right now for you. I can remember. It's good to be a stranger in a strange land Like a person incognito or a masked man Like an actor in a play Who shall I be today? It's good to be a stranger in a strange land Oh, it's fine to just fit in Unknown here, with no fixed address, no fax, no telephone here. Like Descartes in Amsterdam, or robber of the lamb, it's fine to just fit in, be unknown here. Well, you can call me a tramp or a vagabond. I don't care, that's the life that I choose You can call me a scamp or a layabout I got nothing that I own So I got nothing I can lose Unnoticed, you can call me a tramp or a vagabond. I don't care, that's the life that I choose. You can call me a scamp or a layabout. I got nothing that I own, so I got nothing I can lose. Search of truth and beauty Serendipity's my friend I'll manage in the end It's wrong to have no moorings And no duties You can call me a tramp Or a vagabond 
I don't care, that's the life that I choose You can call me a scamp or a layabout Got nothing that I own So I got nothing I can lose Got nothing I can lose Got nothing I can lose Alright guys, hope to see a lot of you again next year.